Hey guys, welcome back. Orbom here bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Now today, people, today I do want to give a special shout outs to the Discord. Uh, we were working together to make this Ho-Oh GX deck that uh, I'm really excited to play. I really like Ho-Oh. It's literally, it's, I think it's literally one of my favorite legendaries of like that aren't like on my top five favorite Pokemon. Because I actually do have like, I have like three legends as my top five favorite Pokemon. It's crazy. Or two, four, uh, whatever. Numbers exist. They don't matter. Anyways, we're playing Ho-Oh. <laughs> and yeah, I like Ho-Oh. I think Ho-Oh is a cool Pokemon. It can hit 180. 190 with a Fighting Fear Belt or 210 with a Choice Band. Both very, very good numbers. So we're going to try to spam ho -Oh, see if we can pull off some amazing turn one Kiawe plays consistently. Now that we have access to Mystery Treasure, it, excuse me, it does increase our odds. Uh, has 190 HP, weakness to Lightning, which is not a bad weakness. There's not a lot of Tapu Kogos flying around. Uh, we have one, uh, we have a Resistance to Fighting, which is always good. And Sacred Fire can snipe the bench for 50. It's good for knocking out things like Mew or putting things in range. And Eternal Flame literally doesn't matter because we never use this GX deck. It's, but, you know, if you guys are curious, it does put any three Pokemon, put three combination of Fire Pokemon GX or EX from your discard pile onto your bench. That includes Stage 1 and Stage 2s. So we might just do something with that in the future. Wink, wink. But the time being, uh, we're not touching Eternal Flame. Uh, but shout, I do want to give a shout out to the Discord, uh, specifically Paintbrush Liquid, my boy. Um, we worked on this deck together. We did a bunch of test draws. I think we did 25 test draws all together with a deck that played less search options than what I'm doing now. And I think we had like a 70, 80% chance of turn one Kiawe. And I did cut out Elixirs because we were playing Elixirs. I don't really like the Elixirs as much after doing like one or two test games. And I decided to cut them out for another mystery treasure and some ends. And this is going to be the list that we play right now. So before we get into the video, though, drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share all the good jazz. You know how it already is. Support me uh, by leaving a comment question. By leaving leaving a comment, you can answer the comment question today for a chance to win a couple of codes. Today's comment question of the day is going to be, uh, what is your favorite box art legendary? I'm talking legendaries from the boxes of the Pokemon game. I think that goes Lugia, Ho-Oh, uh, Lugia, Ho-Oh, and Suicune. Kyogre, Rayquaza, Groudon. Um, that's third gen. Fourth gen is Dialga, Palkia, Giratina. Fifth gen is Black White, Black Kyurem, White Kyurem, Reshiram, and Zekrom. Sixth gen is Eveltal and Xerneas. Seventh gen is Sogaleo, Lunala, and Duskmane, Necrozma, Dawnwings, Necrozma. Yeah, dude, I can't believe I got those all. Dude, shout to me with my big brain. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, drop a like, you guys know how it is. So we're gonna go over the deck here. So we are playing four Ho-Ohs, Ho-Ohs, because Ho-Oh is important. We gotta make sure we get them as often as possible. Two Terminators, because this is the GX deck we're gonna be using. Nitro Tank lets you get five energies from your discard pile to your Pokemon and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like, which is always really good, especially after Ho-Oh gets knocked out. Shell Trap does 20, but if your opponent not damages you next turn, even if it's a knockout, they put eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. And then Bright Flame, in case we do with Ho-Oh, Bright Flame does 160, 190 with a choice band. Definitely still a good number. So Terminator, pretty cool card. Um, two Lele's to help us get our Kiawe's, and then we're playing a 2-2 two -two Garbodor line because Garbodor is just really strong right now. Being able to turn, I mean, I, I know, a lot of the Necrozma decks are playing a lot of blowers. Uh, I do have a Drampa video. I don't know if I uploaded it before or after this video. It might be before. I don't know. We'll see. But I know my Drampa Garb video, uh, if, you know, everything goes well, I think it gets uploaded. Because I know it was like, I know I think, I think something got corrupted, but I'm hoping it didn't. But in my Drampa Garb video, it was like kind of rough. But, I mean, that doesn't always happen. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Whatever. I don't know. I don't even know if you guys saw the video. So, I don't know why I'm even saying all this stuff. But who cares? <laughs> Trubbish. Garbodor. Garbodor is good right now. It turns off a lot of cool abilities. All right. We're playing one blower because, uh, you know, parallel is always annoying. And it's nice to just get rid of stuff on the board. So, we're still, we're still playing one blower. We're playing three Mystery Treasure and uh, four Nest Balls and four Ultra Balls on top of Super Rod. Super Rod doesn't matter as much. But, like, we have so much search in this deck. We have 11 ways to get out our Pokemon, which is important because not only do we need Kiawe, we also need Ho-Oh on the board. So we have to make sure that we have as many ways possible to get them out so that we can increase our odds of getting that turn with Kiawe. Because a turn with Kiawe is a lot of pressure to, to your opponent. So, and if we can just like spend the remaining turns attaching energies to your other Pokemon, like attaching Turnator or another, or maybe to another Ho-Oh, it's all, that's always going to be good for us. So it's, I like, I like it a lot. We're going to see if we can pull off the play here. Um, of course, we do have four Sycamore because this, or four Cynthia because it is a Garbodor deck. Four Guzma because whenever you attack with Phoenix Burn, you can't use the next turn, so being able to reset is really good. Uh, three Kiawe so that they're not prized. Uh, two Ns because N is always strong. 
and three sycamores because it's still garbage over we need a high count draw supporters we are playing a 2-2 split of choice band and belt we'll see which one i like more i think belt is better in the current meta but you'll still see things like like and rock and zohar so you want to make sure you have choice band of course we have our four foot stones and 11 fire energy i'm a little bit worried that the fire energy is on the low side we had to make some cuts but we'll see what happens because whenever you play kiawe anyways that's gonna be the deck profile guys we're gonna get a couple games All right, just in case i cut uh <laughs> um 11 could be on the low side because after you play Kiawe, that's already like four out of your deck. So you're going to be stuck with like seven left in the deck if you don't have any in your opening hand. So it is something to keep in mind because you still want to be attaching a lot. But we'll see what happens. All right. So my opponent is one and they're going first. You usually want to go first. You can get that turn on Kiawe. And we did not get turn on Kiawe, but that's okay, I think. We'll see what happens. We did get some nest balls so we can set up our troubleshoots and stuff. I mean, we might get, we still can, we still might get it because we have mulligans and top decks. But uh, man, that sucks that we didn't get it. But we, like I said, we still have mulligans and top decks. It's not over. So we're playing like Naga Buzz. And if we're playing it's Naga, we might be playing it's Naga Buzz because I see the ultra space. If we are playing it's Naga Buzz, then we definitely want our choice bands to stay safe. And uh, for the Naga, for the Nagas, that is. And yeah, let's see what we can do here. And nope. And let's see. We still are going second. So we can still top deck something. We have three treasures and four ultra balls on top of uh, three Kiaways and two Leleis. So what is that? Four ultra balls, three mystery treasures, that's seven. Two Leleis, that's nine. And uh, three Kiaways, that's 12. Okay, we have 12 cards, 12, 24, 36, 40. That's almost a one. That's like over a one fourth chance of top decking something useful. And we didn't get it. <laughs> We're playing against Zygarde, not, uh, not what I thought I was playing against. All right, let's get, let's get a Trubbish down. Uh, that's my only Trubbish I can really get down right now. It's good for deck thing at least. I don't want to end. Let's take a look here. I don't think ending is like super great right now. We have three Kiaways. We have one Ultra Ball prize. Where's our treasures? One treasure prize, one Lele prize. So three of our 12 are prized. Um, I'm going to play this other nest ball just to keep thinning. We'll get out of Turnator. I'm afraid of Blower. But if it's a fighting deck and it's not Naga, I'm less afraid of Blower. Does that make sense? We'll do this and we'll just play in. I don't want to give my opponent more cards, but if I can get Turn with Kiawe easier next turn, that'll be nice. All right, well, we got Turn with Kiawe next turn, but we don't have a way to ability lock after. I mean, we can't ability lock. Actually, we could ability lock if we got, an, if we got a tool. Go ahead, we'll just pass it up here. Like I said, we're playing against fighting, so we have like a couple turns of buffer before we need to do anything crazy. I just have to be very careful that my opponent doesn't like GX me with, uh, there is the blower. That's really annoying. That's like super duper annoying. I'm not gonna lie. That's right. We have another choice man, another belt in the deck somewhere. We'll find them at some point. Baby Buzz is gonna be like a huge hassle though. I'm not gonna lie. Hala. Okay, he's only drawing four. Does he expect a GX early? Or is he just playing it because he wants to GX a lot using this boy? Hmm, interesting. Uh, there's Kiawe. That's pretty good for us because that way, that way we can get a uh, thing for future turns. Let me just Kiawe here, I think. Do we want to do anything else? Not really. I do want to get Floatstone. Actually, this gets me this gets me Lele or Guzma next turn, which is good. But we don't have a draw support yet, so we actually don't take Knockout. Uh, we still, uh, not draw support, we don't have a tool yet, which is kind of important. We'll Kiawe though. One, two, three, four. He has a very low hand size, so I'm just gonna bank on him not having Guzma. If I top deck a tool, I can get Guzma. Because I can just knock out like a buzzwall on the bench or something. That'd be nice. I also wanna I I wanna knock out the buzzle because the buzzwall can GX me and that could be a knockout, which is kind of scary. So that seems like the best option we have. This thing will hit me for like 180 though. It's gonna hit me for a lot. We did top deck Guzma. We don't have a tool to take a knockout with. So it's not really worth our time. 
So we should just Cynthia, huh? Oh, Cynthia here. See what we can find. All right. We can retreat, but we can't ability lock. And this thing could come in and GX me, which is not good. The ability lock, we are reducing his damage. So that's not bad. I'm gonna ability lock. And but in case he Guzmas me, I wanna make sure I can survive a hit. That should increase my chances because Diancy is ability locked. And uh, I think I messed up. But it's fine. We still have Cynthia Nan. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to get Guzma. What I should have done is Lele Guzma and then ability lock, but it's fine. It's alright. I think we'll just pass it up. We'll see what happens. If he hits me, he hits me for 240, 260, which is enough for a knockout, I think. 40 times 66, 12, 18, 24. Actually, he does take a knockout because he has choice band stuff. But that, we get to survive an extra turn, which is. You know what I was trying to accomplish there at the very least let me drop these boys to get another ho -Oh down in Kiawe this turn since we're not t we're gonna let him take a prize and uh, if he takes a prize then his absorption doesn't do as much and that's really good for us and we have an energy here so our Nitro Tank is still a play. And we have Cynthia in our hand. So we have two Ho-Ohs ready to go. And if we can just get a couple Guzmas, we'll be in a really good position. If I can top take a Guzma here, that'd be like really nice. If he blowers me to turn off to turn off abilities, that'd be really good as well. So we have some options. If he takes prizes, he can't absorb for knockout, which is like the point, the point I'm trying to get off. Now this thing is a threat though, because he can just GX me and then I'm like in a weird situation. But he gave me a board, he gave me game on board, so I'm less worried about it than I, than I would be in other situations. We just have to land all of our Guzmas. Uh, he took two prizes, so absorption is no longer a threat. And we still have all of our Guzmas in the deck. And I think it's time that we just start taking knockouts. Hmm. Which one do I attack with? I think I attack with the belted one and I hold on to this choice band in case he gets blower and blows away my belt. That's what I think I'm going to do. That's unnecessary actually. Super rod doesn't matter right now. We have, we have, we have plenty of cards we can use to draw support next turn. We'll just go ahead and take a knockout here. Phoenix burn. Also, this might give us a way to avoid the four prizes that we might have. Mm, do we play another Trubbish? I don't think we play another Trubbish. Then again, I am in a super odd, so maybe playing another Trubbish isn't that bad. All right, he shouldn't be able to knock me out because of ability lock. Maybe he can actually, 160, 190. But we have the belt, so with the belt, he shouldn't be able to knock us out. We don't have Guzma yet, though. I play four Guzmas for a reason, man. I need to start getting these Guzmas in my hand. I definitely should have. I definitely made that misplay though, where I could, where I should have, uh, should have Lele Guzma then ability locked. That way, I would have had a Guzma for the following turn and take a knockout. I mean, the the trade off was that we got, we got two hoes down though, which is definitely not a bad trade off. What's he doing here? He attacks me. I take a knockout. He comes in and knocks me out with his Zygarde with a GX attack. I have to find Guzma, which means this turn I have to uh, definitely stick more for Guzma and land it. And play another Ho -Oh down so that I can GX with Terminator if I need to. He's really considering this play. Because like he knows he knows what's gonna happen. I take a knockout, he takes a knockout, and um, after that he's gonna have a hard time continuously taking knockouts because 150 is just not enough. Did we play our blower yet? We did not, so we can still blow this thing away, which is nice. Yeah, he's on knuckle impact. 190, shout out to the belt. Play this down. We play this down. I think we play it down. I think that's fine. Mm, you know what I can do instead, actually? I can Ultra Ball it away and then Super Rod it back into my deck. That way we don't have to play it down yet. Because I don't want to play it down yet. It does like ruin. It does like. What's it called? Decrease my odds of drawing into the cards I need. But I think that's worth it. 
choice man is gonna be good we need guzma like it's just super important that we get guzma there we go there are my guzmas there are my friends all right <clears throat> we take a knock oh we can't oh whoops i forgot about this part um huh i actually completely forgot that i have to uh i can't attack next turn oh that was my bad why did i do that then hmm i mean i can't manly retreat that's not a big deal because like this actually denies a knockout as well Assuming he doesn't get blower. All right, we'll do that then. And then Guzman still the Guzman play is still an option. So we can knock out most of his bench Pokemon while denying knockouts some more. And if we get some manual attachments here, that'd be nice. I don't think it's gonna happen because we only have two energies left in the deck. Uh, we already use our super rod as well, but you know these th the worst things have happened. Let's see if he gets the Guzman to take a knockout. Is he gonna put the buzzwall back down? I'm gonna keep knocking out the buzzwall because uh because uh the jet punches are kind of threatening now that we only have uh 40 HP left on one of my one of my boys. Alright, he doesn't take knockout, does he? Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool, so we can just goose my round now. Um that's really good for us. I need to keep thinning my hand, my deck, I mean. Alright, so I don't think he's gonna ever knock out Garb, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. Get more Lele's into our hand. I'm gonna drop one stone. No, it doesn't seem necessary. Then again, we don't have any more tools, so we can actually drop full stones on Ho's, and that would be no problem. Actually, we can just drop full stones on all of our Pokemon. I think we kind of win though if I just keep thin, keep thinning. Uh, how many ho how many full stones do we have left? We have one more in the deck, maybe. So. I think it's fair to just do this. Um, and we'll go ahead and I guess we knock out this boy. If he ends me, how worrisome is that? I think it's better if we actually knock out a one prize attacker. I'm gonna do that instead. But so we'll knock out a one prize attacker. If he ends me to two, it's better than being end down to one. Hmm, now the question is, yeah, we have the hoe right here, so we have a couple turns. I think I definitely take a knockout here, and then next turn, I'm going to drop this. Next turn I can Guzma and GX, no, I can just GX next turn and then Guzma for game. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Alright, so we'll Phoenix Burn for knockout. Yeah, that seems good. As long as he has that Reggie Rock on the bench, we should be okay. He'll take a knockout. Uh, let's see if he can Bonnie. I like the Ultra Space idea. I don't know if it's any better than Bridget than Brooklet, but I guess it's better for you than your opponent in a lot of cases, because Brooklet helps your opponent in a lot of different matchups. Dude, my opponent could ideally take four games. Like, if he if he gave me like a crazy buzzwell play, he could have taken like four prizes this turn. Um, but we don't take knockout, and that's really scary because we could lose still. Because we didn't get, we didn't get any manual attachments. This is what I was saying earlier though about like being worried about the. Shoot. I think no matter what, we lose to a full lens. I mean, we could get knocked out here. I'm going. We lose to a Guzman no matter what, right? So this one has the thing. We have the GX. Like we have to GX. We lose to a blower <laughs> and we lose to a Guzma. So we'll go ahead and just we have the GX no matter what anyway. So we'll go ahead and GX here. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put four on you. In case he He, like he can't like I said the blower wins in the game so we have to be careful if he Guzma stalls me an energy on Ho-Oh means one manual attachment and then I can retreat All right, let's see if he wins I'm saying man if you don't get turn one ho it's not as good but we'll see if we can get away with some shenanigans here he can't get Lele so he can't get Guzma that way. He's deck thinning though. 
Ooh, Mew is cute. Because Mew can jet punch without resistance. He's on a sycamore. No Guzma. We win, I think. He, unless he gets a blower here. He might get blower and then that would lose us the game. No blower. No blower still. He can't GX me anymore. I don't see a way that he could add up enough damage to take a knockout. That's only 180. That's GG. There we go. Well played. Boom, boom. And we just take a knockout here. All right, that was a close game. We didn't get turn one ho, -oh, but we get we did get two Kiaways off, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can get another game and see if we can uh, pull off the turn one ho. -oh. Did we get turn off? Did we get turn one ho? -oh? I don't even remember anymore, bro. I might be saying that we didn't and we already did, but uh, there we go. Ho -oh proving that it's still a menace. I want to add like a three three split of tools. Uh, I mean, there's a lot less decks playing blower right now. Like specifically, Buzzwell just doesn't play any blower. Um, I mean, obviously that wasn't like your stereotypical Buzzle build because it was uh, in Zygarde, but a lot of Buzzle builds just don't play any blower anymore. So, and they don't have a reason to, so I don't blame them. But, so we're trying to prey off that idea, but we're going first. That's really good. So we need Tormund Kiawe. If we can go first and get Tormund Kiawe, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let's see if we can get it. Because unlike a lot of decks, you can get, you can feel comfortable playing turn one Kiawe and not have a draw supporter because you're ready to just start nailing the cards, bro. You can just start taking Oko's turn after turn. So you're a lot more comfortable playing uh, turn one Kiawe in this deck and not have to worry about follow plays in a lot of different scenarios. My opponent's playing Fairy, so we'll see what they're playing. Uh, Guardi is a huge problem, so hopefully it's not a Guardi. If it's Xerneas, it's not as bad. Xerneas I can deal with. Guardi I can't deal with. We didn't get turn one Kiawe again. Like, man, this is really annoying that we did all those test draws and I still don't get Tormund Kiawe, bro. That's upsetting. It's fine, though. We can manage. It's just not as ideal. Ooh, Rainbow Road. That is adorable. All right, so we're not going to need as much here. Seems like six more. Like, we don't have to worry about preserving those cards. The Guzmans would be nice because we need to... Yo, this is absolutely horrendously wild. This is not good. <laughs> we'll pass here. Alright, we need to top deck a Nest Ball or a Ho -Oh or an Ultra Ball. And then we can get turn one Kiawe or turn two Kiawe again. How do we beat Xerneas? He's an enemy, that's fine. How do we beat Xerneas? This is not going to help. If we hit for 80, 80 plus 50 is knockout. So uh, that's definitely something. All right, we can get the thing off this turn. Let's drop N and U. I want to end my Guzmas back in the deck. So we'll go ahead and get turn one, Kiawe. Right, turn two, Kiawe. Now, if we ability lock, does that change anything? I don't think so. So I'm not going to focus too much on ability locking this game. What I'm going to try to do is uh, some shell trap shenanigans, actually. Because shell trapping is really good uh, because if they hit us, they take 80 damage and then we can actually sacred fire the following turn. And if they can't consistently get out their uh, rainbow their rainbow force cards, then we're in a good position. I'm not the biggest fan of the Bisharp combo. I know you guys have seen it in uh, my previous video where I played the Feramosa and the Coco and the um, Ar Arceus, which is fine. Uh, I don't think it's the best build, but I'm not the biggest fan of the evolution ones. I find that like it forces me to make a bunch of unnecessary plays. The Ar Arceus in this deck is just phenomenal. You play down a Volcanion and a Coco and a Feramosa. And then you can just boom, set up a set up an Arceus. Alright, well that's not a game. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That gives me an excuse to get another game and definitely for sure Z for sure this time get a turn one ho. -oh. For sure this time. Man, this is really upsetting. I just keep increasing the odds and it's not being showed off in the video. But I will say right now that before I took out the Max Lixers, we had a ran down somewhere. Uh, we, me and him, uh, me and uh, Liquid together went, uh, what was it? Me and Liquid together did 25 for the second one. And why is this happening? I don't want this to happen. Uh, I think I went 11 and three. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So I went 11 and three with Turn 1 Kiawes in my opening hand. Uh, let me tell this person hello. Hello. And here, here's, a, here's an example of a turn Kiawe. Actually, this hand is kind of amazing. And we're going first. That is super clean. This hand is actually spectacular. You can get down quite a few things 
this turn and next turn as well. The only thing that we're missing is an energy attachment for the turn, but we don't necessarily need it. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna have to get down a couple of things this turn. I'm definitely gonna nest ball to get Ho first. He's not gonna be able to knock me out, that's for sure. So I'm not worried about that. Um, so we'll just Kiawe. We could get down like a Lele for a Sycamore. But we can do that next turn, of course. And we can get down another Trubbish. We can also get down a Garbodor. We have a couple options here. I wanna get down another Trubbish for sure at some point, but for now, all of that can wait. We can we don't have to do that right now. We have, we can decide what my opponent's gonna do first. That way we can preserve these cards for later. But we're gonna go ahead and get off our turn one. Ho! Oh, I definitely first time's a charm. <laughs> Look at that on my first try. Totally my first try. <laughs> don't ask questions. It's all good. All right, so we're playing, we're playing against Mala 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 Mala. Now, what variant is it? Is it Ultimate Cosmo the one I like the most, or is it Necrozma the one that everybody else likes the most? <laughs> I'm so hipster, bro. It's not it's not even something I do on purpose. I just don't. I just really like alternate cards. Like, hey, I'm going to give this girl a heart because or dude, I'm assuming it's a girl, though. Heart. But, you know, we out here assuming. So that's not good. And this, this is what I'm saying, brother. Shout outs, shout outs, shout outs to you, Mystica, Mystica, Mystica. I think it's how you say it. Or Mystico. I can't tell if that's an A or an O because I have really bad vision, but it's OK. All right. So Cynthia, so no bridge at this turn, which is uh, good for me. But the bad thing about this is that I'm gonna need choice band and belt to take knockouts. So I'm actually gonna need a lot more than uh, your stereotypical needs. So we, we have to get Lele down this turn for sure. So that's gonna be what I do. Uh, yeah, we, and I'm gonna play Sigmore because I need a lot this turn. All right, let's get Lele and Garb, I think. Uh, Lele for Sycamore. Because we need Floatstone and we need like a belt or a band to take a knockout here. So hopefully we can land this stuff. We're losing a Guzma in the process, which is not like super great, but uh, do I get Trub or Garb? I'm gonna get Garb actually. We can get a Trub later. How many Garbs do we have? This is actually my only Garbador. It's not super great. We still play one Super Rod. So, but if I can get a Floatstone, it's definitely not bad either because it like stalls for an extra turn. Um. We didn't get Flowstone though, which is uh, it's definitely an eh. I'm gonna blow her though, because that choice band is a threat. So we get rid of that. And I think we just have to pass. Unfortunately, he's gonna be able to knock out my garb. So if my as long as my opponent doesn't set up, I'm okay with it. I mean, I can get down another Trubbish. I should have got down another Trubbish, but it's fine, I guess. I right, see what my opponent does this turn. They hit me for 100, so I'm gonna get knocked out here. Man, unfortunately, I never get my... This, this is my problem with Garbador decks. Man. I never get Flowstone when I actually want it. <laughs> I got it. All Garbador decks must play Order Path. That's how you do it. That's like four Flowstones, right? That's like eight Flowstones right there. All right, let's see. Let's see what my opponent does. They need a couple more Inkays down for them to be a threat. Obviously, Marshadow is useless as a matchup. There's a Malamar. Uh, and they still need to get their Metal Energies as well. So we'll see what we can pull off here. If we can pull off some delicious magic. And this is always going to be good for us, but we're not we're not in like a great position because we're losing our Garbodor here and they're the ones prized. So we're not like by far in any great position, but we're at least in a better position than before. Now. We get Trubbish. Ooh, man, I think I have to play the... Uh, I think I have to play the Cynthia because I can't lose this much draw support, which is going to be bad if I whiff my thing. All right, we got Choice Man. That's good. Very good. Um, we still we don't have Super Rod yet, so I'm gonna have to hope we get something off the prizes here. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. We'll Super Rod here. We'll we'll nest ball just a thin. Uh, there's nothing I really want from it, but you know, thinning is good. And we'll just Phoenix burn for knockout. Come on, Garbodor. One in three chance. One in three chance. Dang. All right, that's not great. All right, that's fine. We'll make do. We can end my opponent down to three, I guess. And we have Flowstone, which is good. I mean, all of Prism is a threat because we play a lot of energies. <laughs> that thing is a monster. Oh boy, that's going to be a monster. All right, let's see if he can land his metal energy. He doesn't, he's not on his bench, so he's going to need a couple of things here. Like, they are not in the best position. And if we can get a Kiawe or a Guzma, oh boy. Oh boy, Guzma would be really good for us right now. 
That'd be amazing for us right now. And we still have three Ultra Balls and one and Treasure and a Lele. So we should we should get it. Three Treasures, no, one Treasure, three Ultra Balls and one Lele. That's five cards, five outs. It's not bad. We did thin a lot, so let's see what happens. Now, I don't want to play my belt down yet because I don't want it to get blowered. These decks do play heavy blowers, so I'm going to try my best to not play down tools unless I need to. That's why he didn't see me play down my floatstone last turn, even if he could end me. Which, uh, I mean, as bad as that would be, I think it's better that I hold on to my stuff. There's a treasure. Let's see my opponent's thrown away so far. He did lose two choice bands, which is, uh, no, only one. Never mind. I was looking at a different card. All right, let's see what my opponent can do. They have to grab another switch and a floatstone. I don't see why they're playing switches over float zones, but I mean, it does, it does, switches do make some cool plays. All right, let's see. Hey, hey. All right, what do we do here? What can we do here? I can Kiawe again? It's a play, it's an option. We don't have Guzma. We're actually running low on energies too. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means there should be only be like three more energies left in the deck. If we kill away again, that gives me two hoes ready to attack, which is uh, really good because we have our belt. So if it does take a revenge knockout, we can revenge ourselves. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill away that because that helps thin the deck. And I don't want to manually attach to anything that isn't Turnator. Because Turnator can actually take a knockout with a Choice Band. We should have another Choice Band in the deck as well. So I'm actually gonna set up a Turnator as well. All right, one, two, three, as expected. How many Choice, do we have the other Choice Band in the deck? Yes, we do, that's really good. All right, that's really good. How many, how, how many Guzmans? We only have two Guzmans, so I have to be very careful about that. Right here. All right, so now we have Turnator, Ho-Oh, and another Ho-Oh ready to attack. So we have some options here. Now we have a lot of energies on the board. So that Psy Storming boy is gonna be a problem. But as long as we can like chain our Guzmas, we might be able to win this. I'm assuming Psy Storm is gonna knock me out. If I can top deck a, a Lele or like a way to get Lele and Guzma, that'd be really nice. Like we have two, we have one Guzma prize. We have two Guzma in the deck. Um, I didn't check my treasure count or anything like that, which is kind of bad, but. Okay, he's attaching there, which means he's not gonna be able to knock me out unless he has some switch shenanigans. If he attached to his bench, he could have like got a flow stone and retreated and then attacked me with Psy Storm, but that's not happening, so that's really good. He is setting it up though, so. Four, eight, ten. There's gonna be 11 energies on the board by the end of my turn, which means, and then he's gonna have four on him, so it's like 15 energies, so that means he's hitting me for 300 damage. <laughs> I think that's just enough for a knockout. I think so. Especially after this soften up, I think he's just barely getting it. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay, we got the Guzma. It's unnecessary now. Actually, it's kind of nice now. Um, I kind of want to get it. If I hold on to my hand, I win the game. If he doesn't end me. I don't need the tools to take a knockout on the Lele, who's gonna be my last prize. So if I hold on to my hand the way it is, I can win next turn. So I'm not gonna actually play anything because I can just get Lele Guzma for game because I have another hoe ready to attack. So I'm actually just gonna hold on to my hand like this. He can end me down to two, which is fine. Uh, it means I get to preserve an ultra ball for game. So that's good too. Um, and there's my Garbodor, so that's cool as well. I maybe should have played the Flowstone down now that I think about it. Uh, just because it helps thin, and if he blowers me, like I said, I don't need it to win the game. I'm assuming he's going to end me here if he has another Lele in the deck. I don't know if he has another one. He's, actually, no, he's only played down one so far. Yeah, he probably has another Lele. All right. Uh, oh, no, he's only played down one. He's just said, that GX deck could be annoying, but like I said, I just win the game off Lele, as long as he doesn't end me here. We'll see if my opponent gets a chance to end or not. He's attaching there, because he can all, of course, he can psychic recharge to the other one. Actually, now this gives him, like, um, attaching to both this one and the other one means now he can like manually manually retreat but I think we got this game boys and girls oh he's just doing that instead I guess he can just GX me is that what he's gonna do like that way I mean he's immune next turn 
and I can only win th with a Guzma. I have another Lele, right? Yeah, I do. All right, he can only win. I can only win with the Guzma now, so of course I have it. But let's see if he plays down to N. Nope, he doesn't. Uh, we'll give him a well played, homie. All right. So nice dominating game. Just completely dominating our opponent. Just utter. I'm just kidding. That's not nice. <laughs> Uh, but it was a good game. It was a good game. We got to show off like two games. We got off multiple Kiaways, which is so cool because if you're not attacking that turn, you can just Kiawe again, which is like super dope. I like this deck a lot. Uh, the only thing I would say is I definitely want more tools to increase our damage output. That's the only thing I could say I want in this deck that I don't have right now. Um, other than that, I kind of I, I like I, I'm digging the deck. More tools also means more times to ability lock with garb, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And uh, is there anything else to say? I don't think so. Which one do I want to do? Which one do I want to play more? I, I kind of want to play Metal uh, Zoark Duskman at some point. I don't know if it's a good idea though. But you know what? I like Metals. I like Metagross. We'll just pick that one. All right, guys. Thank you guys for hanging. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. It was a. Uh, I was only been 36 minutes. Oh man, I thought. I, I mean, this is like the fourth video I'm recording today. I'm trying to stockpile because I'm going on vacation at some point. Um, <laughs> so forgive me, but this is dope. I am trying to get as many videos out as possible, and I'm trying to. But since now that I have the free time to do it, like you guys know how Ramadan's been for me and my work schedule. But I have a day off today. I'm trying to abuse it. So this is gonna be the deck we we played. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you. Let me know guys know what you would change about the deck. Like I said, if I could add an extra belt and an extra choice band, I would. I just don't know what I would drop. I would not by any means drop any mystery treasures, uh, nest balls, or ultra balls. I think those are too important. I also don't want to drop any ho-ohs. Because uh, if we can lead with ho-ohs as often as possible, it's like the best case scenario. So I don't know what I cut other than those. Like I don't want to cut, I don't want to cut any of those. Maybe I could cut like one ho-oh. Maybe I can try that out and go from there. Hmm. That's an option, I guess. One Ho-Oh -Oh and maybe one, one Cynthia. I don't want to cut draw support, so that seems very risky. I don't know, maybe one Ho-Oh -Oh for an extra choice band or an extra belt. I think I'm leaning more towards belt, maybe. And again, choice bands are really good for liking rocks. Regardless, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share all the good jazz, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.